Hi friends, it is Mrs. Pope here, and today I'm going to be giving you a writing lesson. So please make sure that you have a piece of paper with you, a pencil or markers, and your best attitude. Let's get started. All right, friends, today the purpose of the lesson is you are going to be learning how to create something that is going to help you in your writing. You are going to learn how to create your very own writing web. A writing web kind of looks like a spider web. This is a graphic organizer, which is a tool we use in the classroom to help you organize your writing. Because sometimes when we write, it's all jumbled. If we use a graphic organizer, it helps us to know what to put first, next, and so on. So we are going to get started by looking at a few notes that remind us of what we have already learned. So to begin, we're going to look at the word detail. Detail is something that we have learned about when we have done reading lessons before, but we haven't talked too much about details when we've been doing a writing lesson. So I want you to take a second, pause the video, and think to yourself, what is a detail? Thank you to those of you that paused the video. If you remember correctly from what we've learned about details, a detail in writing or in reading is anything that supports the main idea of the story. So go ahead and pause the video and write that down. A detail is anything that supports the main idea of the story. All right, now I'm gonna rejog your memory on the main idea. The main idea of a story. This is the same for when we're reading or when we're writing. So go ahead and pause the video and take a second to think about what is the main idea of a story? What is the main idea of the story? All right. If you remember, the main idea of a story is what the story is about. It's the big idea. What is the whole picture? What is it about? So you will notice that in this little picture of a hand, the main idea is the palm of the hand. It's the base of the hand. And coming out from the hand with our fingers, are the details and our fingers are what support the palm of our hand. So the details of a story, whether you're reading or whether you are writing a story, the details that you put into the story are what is going to support the overall main idea. What is your story about? The details will support that. So whenever you're thinking of main idea and details, I want you to think of your hand. The main idea is the palm of your hand and the details are the fingers. And notice we have five of them because a good writing story has at least five details. So go ahead and pause the video so you can make sure that you have written down what I have written down and you can draw your own hand. You can trace it on there and put the main idea in the palm and detail on the finger. Pause the video now to do so. Thank you to those of you that paused the video and have been following directions. I know that video lessons look a little bit different, but you guys have been doing a great job with them. We are now gonna do a little bit of an activity to remind you how to find the main idea. I am going to show you a picture. Your task is to pause the video once you see the picture and think about what is the main idea of the picture. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, here is our picture. Here is our picture. You'll notice there's quite a few things going on in the picture. So go ahead and pause the video 
and take a good long while to look at all the different things in the picture. Okay, I hope that you paused the video and you looked at all the different things in the picture. Now, we're gonna look together at all the different things in the picture. So one of the first things that I noticed personally was the sun. I noticed that there's a sun in the picture because it looks very happy. I also noticed that there are clouds. There are clouds in the picture. There's a sun and there's clouds. I also noticed up here, there's a palm tree that has some coconuts on it. I noticed that there's a palm tree. Another thing that Mrs. Pope noticed is that there's waves down here. It's, at, it's the ocean, there's waves. Down below, I started to notice that there are, there is a crab right here. I noticed that there is a shell right here. And I noticed that there's a starfish right here. Lots and lots of things going on in this picture. Lots and lots. All of these things are going on in the picture. But in the center of the picture, what does it look like these two kids are doing? I hope you answered the question. They are building a sand castle. That is the action of the picture. So even though there is all of this going on in the picture, let Mrs. Pope make sure she has it there. Even though there is all of this going on in the picture, the palm tree, the sun, the clouds, the waves, even though there's so many things happening, there is a main idea to this picture. There is a one big action that is going on in this picture. Can you guess what it is? Is the sun the main idea? No. The palm tree? No. What's the main idea? Pause the video and take a second to guess. All right, I think you guessed correctly. The main idea of this picture is that these kids are building a sand castle together. All of these things, the palm tree, the sun, the clouds, the waves, the starfish, shell, crab, all of these are details. They're the fingers that support the palm. The palm is the main idea. The main idea of this picture is building a sand castle. And all of these things, those are just extra details that are supporting the main idea. If the background wasn't on this picture, if we didn't know there were waves or a beach or the sun or a palm tree, we might not know they're building a sand castle. If this was just on a black screen, we would be like, what are they doing? But because of all the details on this picture, we know exactly what they are doing. They are building a sand castle. All right. That was a little activity to rejog our memory on what exactly the main idea and details are. Next, we are going to go ahead and work together to create your very own writing web which has the main idea in the center and all of the supporting details in the blue. So let's get started. This is my writing web. This is a graphic organizer, which is going to help me organize my creative writing. This way I know what to write down and it all goes towards the main idea. So now it is your turn to make one with me. Please make sure you have a piece of paper and a pencil. And the first thing you're gonna do is write writing web at the top. So please pause the video and write writing web at the top. 
The first thing that we're gonna do is put a big box in the middle. And I'm sure you can guess that this is our main idea because this is what the details surround. So please go ahead and put a box in the middle that says main idea. The next step is to create the boxes that show detail. And if we're thinking about our hand again, we're thinking that the palm in the middle is the main idea and each of the five fingers are the details. So we're gonna need five different detail boxes. So let's start over here. I have one box. I have two boxes. Three boxes. four boxes, and my last fifth box, five boxes. Take a second to pause the video and make sure that you have five different boxes surrounding the main idea. Each of these boxes represent a detail, so we are going to label them as detail number one. Detail number two. Detail number three. Detail number four. And detail number five. Take a second to pause the video and make sure that each of your boxes are labeled. Now it is time to start thinking of how we're going to use this writing web graphic organizer to help with our writing. Each and every one of you are going to create a creative writing story. This means you get to decide what your story is going to be about and it could be about anything. It could be about aliens taking over the world. It could be about your dogs learning how to talk. Maybe your teacher turns into a frog. But the important part is that you come up with your own idea of what you want to write a story on. Mrs. Pope is going to give you an example of what she is going to write a story on. Please remember, you are not copying what Mrs. Pope does. You are going to come up with your own way. This is just an example of how to organize it. So for Mrs. Pope's main idea, this is what is my story going to be about? Mrs. Pope's story is going to be, I just won $1 million. That's Mrs. Pope's main idea of my creative writing story. I just won a million dollars. That means that this is what the whole story is going to be about. Each of these details are going to be supporting the main idea. Let's go to detail number one. Detail number one, where did I find my one million dollars? It didn't just show up in thin air. I found it on the beach. Man, what a crazy day. I go to the beach and I find a million dollars. Notice that this detail is written in a full and complete sentence. There is a capital and a period and the sentence makes sense. If you're not sure it makes sense, read it out loud to yourself. Detail number two. How else am I explaining and supporting that I just won a million dollars? Well, don't you wanna hear what I'm gonna do with my million dollars? I am going to buy a mansion. 
because friends, I want a big house. And if I have a million dollars, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy a mansion. This is my second detail, supporting my main idea. Detail number three. What am I gonna be doing if I want a million dollars? Well, let me tell you what I'm not gonna be doing. I am not going to work, which means you might have to find a new teacher because if I have a million dollars, I don't have to work anymore. So I'm not gonna work, I'm gonna go take a break. Actually, for that break, I'm probably gonna go on a vacation. So I am going on a vacation. Don't know where yet, but I know it's gonna be beautiful. I have one, two, three, four details so far, and they are all full and complete sentences. Let's do one last detail. I just won a million dollars. So far, I have answered where I found it, what I'm going to do with it, what I'm not going to do, where am I going to go? Well, detail number five, I want to share some. If I have that much money, I wanna make sure that my family is taken care of. So I would want to share some of that million dollars. Please notice that I have five full and complete details that are supporting my main idea. I am now ready to get started on writing. And each of these details are going to be a topic for a paragraph. Each of these details will help me to focus my writing towards the main idea. Your task, my friends, is to create your very own writing web. You are going to do just like I have done, but with your own idea. So you will put your main idea of your creative writing story in here and your five details. You have just officially learned how to make your very own writing web. This is going to be used to write your very own creative writing story. Remember, your story can be about anything that you want it to be. That's why this is kind of fun. To get credit for this writing assignment, you must completely fill out your writing web, take a picture of it, and have your mom, dad, grandpa, grandma, whoever is at home, send the picture to Mrs. Pope. I also would like you to tell Mrs. Pope on paper one thing that you learned, one thing that you want to more, know more of, and one question that you might have. All right, friends, I cannot wait to see your pictures of your writing webs, and I cannot wait to come back to you and do another lesson on turning your writing web into a story. Have fun with it. <laughs>